G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to have a quick look around Zubuntu 20.04 and I believe this is the uh, first long term support of Zubuntu that has the XFCE 4.14 so let's have a quick look at that about XFCE and we have XFCE version 4.14 distributed by Zubuntu and if we also have a look at the terminal you can see what I'm running here um, that's currently my system it's installed Nvidia within the installation so I click the third party box on installation it's automatically installed Nvidia I've had no problems haven't checked screen tearing yet but Nvidia is working no problem so we could probably check screen tearing here it's probably a little bit of screen tearing there haven't checked it I'm just looking around anyway. So the XFCE 4.14 has full GTK 3 support. So we have uh, support for GTK 3, um, which will give you a lot better, a lot better look and feel within the distribution itself. So if we have a look at some of the things here, we'll probably see them as we go through this anyway. Um, and I believe that um, something new that they've got in here is. If we go to view and location selector, you can have path bar style or toolbar style, which is this one here. So you can have like a path to where you're going. And, and I've um, got some paths here. So you can see that that's the path of where we are at the moment. Or you can change the view to path bar style. So it gives you like little icons there and you can click on the path to go back like that. That's a nice little um, look and a nice little handy feature there. We can just change from one to the other. I believe they've made some improvements with HIDPI support, uh, which is in probably not showing up. because I'm not sure whether HD, HIDPI shows up in here if you haven't got it. So you've got reflection there, which is horizontal, vertical, horizontal, and vertical. I'm not quite sure what those do. Rotation. And you can choose your screens, and then you can also choose a profile for the way the screens are. So configure new displays when connected, and uh, show pop-up windows to identify displays. So you've got some options there. I haven't got any other displays connected, so I really can't show you, but I believe you can adjust your displays by dragging and dropping as well. So that's another thing you can do. They also have uh, color profiles. I'm not really sure what the color profiles does. Never really used that before. Um, laptop screen. So you can have profiles. We can add profiles. So you've got these profiles here. Haven't really used that, but if you're into that sort of thing, then you have the availability here in Zubuntu 20.04. They also have a new notifications plugin with a do not disturb and notifications here. You got, um, there's no notifications currently. Uh, you can clear the log and notification settings. So they've got a lot of toggling styles here now within the settings which is nice to see and you can change your notification settings here per application a log show notifications on primary display or display with mouse pointer you've got a theme you can change themes for that don't know if we can um, disappear after 10 seconds Show preview. So there's a preview. Let's have a look at the uh, themes on the previews. Greybird bright. That's bright one. Default. Smoke. That's not bad. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty uh, bright. <laughs> Greybird there. Retro and bright. So we'll go with back to the default there. We also have a new screensaver app where you can um, choose the blank screen, a random screensavers. You got this one here, floating XFCE, pop art squares, 
and a slideshow and some settings for the enable or disable screen saver from here. Got lock screen settings here as well. I believe they've got a new calendar in here as well. I don't believe they've got a Raj calendar anymore. I don't believe that's in here anymore. No, there's no Araj. So calendar here, properties. Oh, it's the clock. Be nice if the calendar was just a little bit bigger, especially on um, 1080 um, screen. It's a little bit on the small side. It's not too bad. Looks like it's been um, updated a little bit. I don't know if the properties allows you to change colors or not. You can definitely change the clock from fuzzy to LCD, binary. Don't know anyone that can, I don't know, I can never read binary. <laughs> and digital, which is the default. Custom formats here. And I believe um, in uh, under Office, um, Libre Office Impress is new. I don't know whether they normally have the Office Suite in Zubuntu. I don't run Zubuntu enough to have a look. I'd probably have to uh, fire up and install 1804 to see if there's any difference. And I'll probably be putting that up on the screen because I might do that and let you know what the differences are. I'd be interested to know myself. And I believe also they've added GIMP in here as well. I don't believe it came with GIMP by default before. Again, I'll have to check that out and see what was there by default, if there was anything at all. And we are in Zubuntu 18.04.4. And just to have a quick look at what I was talking about here, we got graphics. And as you can see, there was no GIMP in 18.04. And also in Office, there was no LibreOffice Impress, although they had the other, the rest of the Office suite there, just no Impress. And then also what I was talking about is the Arage Global Time, which is not there anymore. And in the settings, again, under Appearance, we've got uh, new Greybird Dark. And if we just go to our file manager and check that out, Greybird Dark, Greybird is the default. And you've got some icons, different icons as well. Um, if we drop this down and have a look at the icons, we've got Elementary XFCE Dark as default, Elementary XFCE, Darker, Darkest, I don't know if that's making any differences anywhere at all, to be honest. So it was on a dark. And under Window Manager, we also have, um, we can change the title bar settings as well to Greybird Dark. Greybird Dark on the top title bar there. Greybird is the default. And then you've got these other ones here. So back to Greybird default for that. And I believe um, Zubuntu was also um, quit support for 32-bit ISOs as well, which is I think was happened in um, 1904, 1910 or something like that. So this is the first long-term support that doesn't have any support for 32-bit ISO, I believe. And you can add printers from the settings here. And you've got uh, Window Manager Tweaks, where you can tweak a few things here on Cycling Windows, Focus of Windows, Accessibility, Workspaces, Placement, and Compositor. So you've got Show Shadows under Docs, Show Windows Previews in place of icons when cycling. You've also got Panel Profiles. You've got some preset profiles here. So we have a current configuration. Um, we have Zubuntu 18.04. I don't know whether that is the same as what we are currently using. Let's check it out. Let's apply that. I'm pretty sure it'll be the same. So that's the one. That's the same. So we have GNOME 2. 
how, how does that work? Oh yeah, we've got a different menu. Okay. Got your Windows buttons down the bottom. Open SUSE 15.1. So we've got a whisker menu down the bottom with your Windows buttons down the bottom. Everything is on the bottom panel. Then you've got Redmond, which would be a Windows type view. And you've got your simple menu there. XFC 4.12. Oh, you got, oh yeah, that's the, yeah, that used to come by default, didn't it? With On a standard um, non-tweaked XFC desktop, I think that's how it comes by default, I'm pretty sure. And the simple menu as well. That's a little dock there. It's an XFC um, panel. Then the 4.14, you've also got the panel as well. Zubuntu 12.04 with another panel, slightly different. Menu up there and Windows buttons. Zubuntu 14.04. And then we've got the 18.04, which I think was the default. So that's the panel profiles. You got preferred applications there. Power manager. Display devices. And that also you have a these things up here as well for the power management and also a quick a quick link to the power manage manager settings as well and you can also change your display brightness it also comes default with a menu editor which is pretty handy if you're using app images and things like that date and time you can change here you've also got removable drives and a media and options for all of that to mount media when it's plugged in, multimedia there, play audio CDs when inserted and so forth, for cameras, PDAs, printers and input devices. So you've got users and groups as well and you can really see the difference in in the way um, XFC is looking in Zubuntu 20.04. They've got these nice little boxes that just sort of just pop out at you which is nice. And they've got all these little toggles happening as well, which is good to see. A lot of toggles there as well. So toggle things on and off. That seems to be the um, the trend in um, a lot of operating systems now is the uh, toggling on and off of things, which makes things easier for the user when it comes to changing settings and so forth. And we'll have a quick look at software. Should be software in here. You've got this software here. And I think there's also a snap. Or is that the same thing? Snap store and software. So that's a snap store. Software, that's the GNOME software. And this is the Snap Store Ubuntu software. I don't know, they're both the same. So, what do we got in here? GIMP is Snap. And this one, GIMP, Snap. So, they both look the same, really. And you can check your updates there. And you also have the, um, if we have a look at all applications, you've got the catfish file search. Now the catfish file search, you can search in um, all these areas or you can choose other. You can also choose to show sidebar, show hidden files, search file contents, match results exactly. You've also got some preferences. You can use the modern or you can use the classic. 
and you'd have to close it for the classic to come come into effect and there's the classic there you can turn off the sidebar if you wish and you've also got a bulk rename as well comes with parole media player i installed simple screen recorder xf burn full LibreOffice, a trill document viewer graphics has got gimp and ristretto document scanner couple of games and then you've got these accessories here Mate calculator seems to be quite popular across uh, a lot of Linux distributions lately I must say and we've got Thunart 1.8.14 and last we'll have a quick look at um, desktop settings and there's a few wallpapers there let's try that one so that was a quick look around Zubuntu 20.04. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.